Hi guys, Ultimate WWE Legend here. Now, in this video, I'm going to be doing a Gotham Season 2 review. And what a season it was. As we saw in Season 1, you started to see Enigma, Mr. Enigma Conundrum, a.k.a. The Riddler, a.k.a. Mr. Crazy Man, um, came out and started to show more of his character by killing, you know, um, starting his killing spree and thinking to himself, what is he doing? But then he had an alter ego and started to, you know, show his true passion like we've seen him in the um, comics, in the games, in the movies, all that. He started to bring it out of himself. We also saw some, um, one of the guys that uh, could have been the Joker. For some reason, we saw him die in Season 2. Now, that's very confusing. We also saw the girl that most probably is going to be Firefly um, because she's rebellious from um, her two stupid brothers that constantly bully her, make her do whatever they want. She's rebelled and she decided to, you know, put on a flamethrower and look like Firefly. Now, I think she's going to be Firefly because that's the way it looks like she's going, the way she's dressing up, the way she's acting and all that stuff, not being afraid to kill and all that basically looks like the maniac Firefly. Now, I thought Firefly was a man, but it looks like it's going to be different in the Gotham TV show. Now, I could be wrong. You guys can correct me on that, but it looks like she's going to be Firefly. Now, we also saw um, Barbara, you know, lose it, go ballistic, start becoming um, really crazy. Now, I thought that was very odd, but it seems about right now. She's, you know, exploring, going, uh, becoming, you know, exploring with females, still in love with um, Jim's... James Gordon, you know, stuff like that. It's just like, it's just makes the plot and the whole storyline get better and better. Now we've also, with Bruce, we've also seen Alfred training him really hard, teaching him discipline, martial arts, how to fight, how to defend himself, all that, how to stand up for himself. We've seen all that in this season as well. We also saw Alfred get his hands dirty, Catwoman kill her first person, I think was her first. But she's starting to also become more and more rebellious, joining, you know, um, I forgot the guy's name, but the um, the snake, uh, Jim Gordon calls him a snake, the guy that he wanted to put in prison straight away. I completely forgot his name. You guys can correct me on that. That's um, the guy that ran for mayor and how much he was hiding, him and his sister, they're crazy and everything like that, how much he was hiding, the like his true side and everything, wanted to run for mayor and was hiding the true mayor somewhere down in the docks. You know, the whole storyline is just getting better and better with Gotham. I cannot wait to see the day that um, Bruce Wayne becomes Batman. Now, I don't think that will be anytime soon. Maybe maybe next season it could happen halfway through or maybe it'll take another two seasons just because he's only about 14, 15 in the TV show and I think he's about the same in, in real life. But I cannot wait to see him become Batman and to see... People like Penguin become even more powerful to see, um, you know, all those bloodlines, all those amazing fighters, Deathstroke, Deadshot, all of them come back and, you know, start popping up in the show and showing us why we've known and love Batman. Like, it's just amazing TV show. This season, I definitely I have to give it a 5 out of 5 because there was nothing I did not enjoy about the whole season. It's amazing the amount that Jim Gordon will go to to um, get what he wants. You know, it's not corruption or anything like that. It's just he fights for what he believes in and what he wants. And that's what I like seeing. And all these, um, you know, villains coming out and fighting for uh, what they believe in and Jim Gordon fighting back. It's all action-packed and just getting better and better by the minute. Now, guys, that TV show is something you must watch and I recommend to anyone of all ages. Just some things are obviously a bit over the age, but if you're allowed, you can watch it. And all i got to say is thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment down below. And tell me what you think about Gotham. Will you give it a try or did you give it a try and you really didn't enjoy it? Because I know in season one, it started off a bit slow, but then it just got better and better and better. And there's nothing better than that TV show right now. And other people might have different opinions, but I really enjoy that show. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.